Hello my friends, this is Claire from Claire Scrap Forever and today I'm going to show you a junk journal that I've just finished. It's quite big, I don't usually make them that big, but this one was just like too easy to, to add stuff all the time. So it's a two inch spine. It's a little golden book that has been, uh, it's, it's one of my favorites, and uh, it has been, uh, it's got four signatures in it and uh, I've decorated it so uh, I've left uh, lots of pages for journaling but I've added uh, lots of uh, stuff that I think it fitted well. I've added photo corners here on all sides because the book had a little wear and uh, I wanted to make sure that it would all uh, stay nice for a long time. So in the cover uh, I've got a little pocket here with uh, two, uh, two book uh, bookmarkers and of course the uh, story is complete it's inside and it and it follows but I've added all sorts of pages in between so my little golden book about God I think this would make a, a great book to put in a gratitude like a gratitude journal or you know just quotes that you really like or whatever I mean this is God is great I mean this is fun so here it says, look at the stars in the evening. And I had this here, a uh, little card here, um, twinkle, twinkle, little star, which I thought was very appropriate to fit right there. It could be moved around. I've got a lot of stuff that are not glued in. So, you know, I figured you might want to write a lot and put it on the other side or whatever. So you've got a lot of uh, play around that you can change because sometimes we want to really personalize the journal and make it our own. And I love also lately, I've been using a little bit less coffee dyed papers, but I have found uh, old encyclopedias and I use the yellowed, the natural yellowed pages of those books. And I think they're just perfect. So uh, they're added a lot. Uh, here I put a music page and I thought I'll be listening. It was so appropriate with this little card here. Whoops, I see it's written in the back. So I will... Um, yeah, I will put a backing on it with a coffee dyed paper because I recycle a lot of cards. So I hadn't, I hadn't realized I was uh, written on the back. So I'm just going to cover that in a few minutes. Uh, and here I just added, this is also from a very old, small book. And I just thought the, the, the color was so perfect. So here is, is a glassine bag with a little page inside and, uh, just sort of decorated the corner. And, um, Here's a coffee dyed uh, envelope, which I decorated. And inside you have a little card that you can write on. You can put more stuff too. This is not glued, it fits perfectly. Old book page, just love using those old book pages. And uh, so it continues. There are four signatures and there's 24 pages in each signature. So this is the middle of the first signature. I just love this picture. It's so, so beautiful. A little child staring at the bug and just gorgeous. And here it says, think of our earth spinning in space. And so I just added this picture here, but like I said, it's not glued in, so you can move it around or remove it, whatever you like. And uh, pages. This is a raggedy. Okay, a raggedy. I learned that from uh, my niece, Anne. And um, they're just fun. I mean, they're they're decorated on both sides and you can just stick them in the in your book wherever you want and i thought this is just too cute that little girl here so i put it in but you put it where you want or not at all whatever there's a raggedy in there okay and um okay here a beautiful prayer and i've got a little booklet here that fits in this pocket or you could put it elsewhere. And here I have a guest check that's decorated. And uh, I think it's so appropriate to book page, coffee dyed paper. And here, well, we're talking about, we face the sunlight. So I thought, oh, that's so nice. You know, you got these flowers facing the sunlight. So that, I thought that was very appropriate to coffee dyed paper. This here is um, sewing uh, instruction material that I have glued together to make a page with a little um, puzzle piece that has been decorated. An envelope here, which is not attached, but you could glue right there or not. And uh, so it continues here. 
Here is a music page, and I have uh, this little page here to fit in the pocket. But here, this pocket is like two pockets in one, so this will fit in behind. I have a little tab here to get it out. So this is the music page from this side. And here, well, I just sort of glued a, a, a nice picture. Actually, it's a wallpaper piece, and I thought it was very appropriate to, uh, you know, a house and book page, digital paper book page. Here, that's very old. It comes from a very old book where you used to collect cards and glue them in a book. So I thought that's so nice. And here, uh, I have a, just a nice card to write in and a little, um, these are... Um, butterflies but it, it's like a border and it's a little bit rubberish it, it has volume texture I guess so we continue on with um, coffee dyed paper book page I like the way they yellow you know they're so uh, so intense and uh, here we go okay so this is signature number three here so now we're into flowers and I have this beautiful card. It's all embossed uh, with flowers. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you see it on the side, you'll notice how embossed it is. So it's very, uh, I thought it was very good looking to be there. And I have these here, book pages, this little music page with a little cluster here. And on this side, I fussy cut a, a butterfly, which I put here old stamps i like to use old stamps to decorate junk journals they they're fantastic they, they have a, some they give some punch here it says it sends us the needed rain so i thought this little picture was appropriate but like i said it's not glued in so you can either remove it or put it somewhere else isn't this absolutely gorgeous page for a centerpiece of a signature this is just, this book is, I mean, the drawings in this book is fantastic. So they're beautiful. Copy dyed paper. Here's the other side of the little music page with a quote and uh, just put some little flowers here. Here's another piece of that same um, border here. And I've got a little uh, card here to scribble on, little notes or whatever. So it's got lots of room for journaling. And here I just decorated this. The way to know life is to love many things. I thought that was the other side of the card, the flowered card. This is signature number four. Beautiful pictures in there. Absolutely beautiful pictures, book pages. And this is like Timsy. I just love those pictures. Here I have an envelope, and that envelope has not been coffin stayed. It's really naturally yellowed like that. And I have little cards in there to journal on. Music page decorated with old stamps. A little signature. Now, see, this is the book I was talking about. People, they, they used to, they used to, um, I don't know where they got those little birds, but they would collect them and glue them in their book, so... I thought that was appropriate. I love this little pocket here that I made. Coffee dyed paper and vellum. And here also. And here there's a little pocket here with embossed flowers here and a tag inside. And here I have an envelope, which is very pretty and I thought it was appropriate. This is avocado dyed paper here and it just matches perfectly. But once again, it's not glued in, so it could be used elsewhere or glued here or, you know, wherever you wanted to. So covered with lace, signatures are like hidden under the uh, fabric and lace. And I've got charms all over in the middle. And my charms are, I have a little flower, wings. I have a little angel here and here a little heart with beads and flowers. So uh, that's uh, what I decided to put in each signature in the middle. So that's the book. I'll be on my Etsy, ready to move into somebody's home. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching.